Welcome back to The Blackness. I'm Brooks. And I'm Hendrix. Today we're going to be talking about a lot of different topics, mainly hitting on the Olympics, and we'll also be talking about uh, vice, uh, Kamala Harris vice president pick. Yes, Tim Weiss. Tim Weiss. Um, we'll be getting into him. Um, and then, pause. Um, <laughs> then we'll be going into a couple of other subjects, um, mainly mm-hmm. the chicken lady, and we'll explain that later. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> the chicken lady but uh yeah welcome back to the black summit yeah. and uh glad to have you guys here with us again tons of stuff has been happening man a i feel lot. like since we've done a podcast mm-hmm. by the way uh we just did one with lovey yeah hope and you guys enjoy that one it's yeah very good please yeah. go and watch that and like it and mm-hmm. um you know let us know your feedback on it um to me it was it was impactful yeah. so don't miss out on that one. So mm, subscribe. Subscribe if yeah. you haven't already. So, all right. Um, let's talk about the Olympics. America mm-hmm. killed the game, okay? We brought home 40 gold medals. We were tied with China on that. But overall gold medals, we won 126 compared to China, who came in number two, 91 gold medals for them. Um, but a lot of people, you know, did their thing this year at mm-hmm. the Olympics. Yeah. Simone Biles, if you talk about um, even Team USA, the women's and the The men's men's basketball team, um, Katie Ledecky. Mm -hmm. Um, Overall, just like a great year for us. A lot of people are comparing it to like 2008, um, which was like, I felt like a lot of people felt like that was like the golden year or Mm -hmm. whatever for America. Yeah. But, you know, we came out and killed the game. So it was interesting. Women's track and field. uh, they did a uh, phenomenal. They killed it. Shakira Richardson and all the man the woman track and field was on point. The men got disqualified. They couldn't uh what I know it was Curly. I can't remember the other guy's name. In track and field? In track and field. Yeah, there was oh, the really? the four by four, four hundred really, I believe it was. Yeah. They ended up getting disqualified because the one guy kinda took off a little too early and mm-hmm. the guy had to catch up to him. And so uh, I think Curly ran the anchor, and he had too much to make up. So they I don't even know if they came in fourth or fifth. So they ended up getting disqualified. They, they said that in past years, the men relays, they usually, you know, they, they, they somehow they just can't seem to get it together. All I know is we got to do something about <laughs> men's track and field. Because to me, they, it seems like we have a bunch of clowns over there. All right. <laughs> What? Namely Noah Lyles, that guy. I do, I just I do not like that guy. Listen, he's a, he's an American. He and we uh we love all of our American people. Mm-hmm. But uh, that guy, I mean, he just comes off as very arrogant to me, and I don't really like him. Look at so, the way you say American. Yes, American right. American people. You know the American people now. Mm. I'll tell you right now, this man, he coming out here talking trash to everybody. <laughs> We can't be having all that now. No allow, so he's standing <laughs> on business. Yeah, um, but uh, you know, I think I think it was a great year um, for us, and you know, seeing Shakari and you know, like you mentioned, some of those other people, yeah, come out and just show you know the world, hey, you know, we still got it, and you know, there was a lot of us out there, which is nice to see it represented. Mm-hmm. Um, but you know, also, you know, the basketball team really, <clears throat> I mean, those games, a lot of them were close. Yeah. It really shows how the world is starting to come up in a way, you mm-hmm. know, Steph Curry was killing it. Yeah. Um, yeah. and, uh, you know, Asia a- Wilson for the women. Yeah. Oh man. It was, she got it the was, MVP. Yeah. They, they, oh, yeah. the U S women's four by 100 relay team sprint goal. So that was. Uh, Gabby Thomas. Okay. Gabby Thomas, Shakira Richardson, Melissa Jefferson, and Twanisha Terry. Was that when Shakira was looking back? When she, she looked, was no, like, over to yeah, yeah, she was yeah, like yeah. looking at her like, she bro, you ain't her. got it. Yeah. <laughs> and she gave her all the smoke. Yeah. This is ours. Yeah. So, yeah. It was a uh, moment, man. It was great to see all of that. Um, now, I did hear about this one lady who got her bronze strip? Jordan Childs. What was was that in like? Yeah, uh, Romanian gymnastic denies agreeing to stop Jordan Childs of her medal. 
So uh, USA Gymnastics shared the news in a statement Monday expressing their deep disappointment after being informed by uh, CAS that their rules prohibit the uh, reconsideration of an uh, arbitral award even when significantly new evidence emerges. So uh, I think she she didn't know if she qualified. I, I was I think her and I, I don't remember who the other young lady was. And the other, the other young lady uh, had the points. And yeah, I think happens. what happened was I think one of the coaches went over and said that they needed to add points or something like that. And oh, that's what happened? Yeah, and so they added or they didn't add the points. Mm -hmm. And so what happened was the other folks, they went back and appealed it. Yeah. And... By the way, she had like already went back home, I think, at the, at that point, because mm. she was walking around with it at Jordan, um, Childs. Jordan Childs. And uh, she had like taken it home already and uh -huh. like was walking around with it at like the stock exchange or something. Mm. And so it was almost like it was hers already. Mm -hmm. And then they came back and was like, no, actually, this is, you know, we're going to strip you of it. And so yeah. it was a whole thing. Cause she won gold. I think they won gold with the team, mm -hmm. and then that uh, the, their individual. The, I think that was the floor exercise she was doing. Then their individual uh, medals. So yeah. So I think what she had two. She had two. So that gold and then that bronze that they stripped her of the bronze. So. Just the bronze, yeah. Yeah. So she still had a gold medal, mm -hmm. but. Yeah, and the individual she didn't have the bronze, have the bronze. which kind of messes up the whole moment of her and. Um, Simone Biles kind of bowing down to the oh to yeah the to girl. The, the Brazilian yeah yeah yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. so yeah. but um, what did you think of that? Did you of her being stripped? Man, honestly, I really don't know the rules like that. I mean, okay. I don't know. I, I I remember I heard something about they wanted they was going to go back and reevaluate to see if she had stepped on the line or something like that. Or yeah, I you know I heard something like that, but. Honestly, I really don't know the rules and how they go about, you know, judging these competitions. You know, I know when they they flip or whatever, when they they gotta make a land without stumbling over or you know, for whatever the case may be. And then I don't know what exactly they judging them on. I guess maybe how well they execute each, uh, you know, um, gymnastic move or whatever they're doing. So, I, I, honestly, I really don't know, man. I really don't know. Well, I just think that before you guys, before you let everybody go and we award this person with the award, mm -hmm. double check everything before you do that. Yeah. Like, why are we giving this person the award? They're like thinking that they want it. To me, that's a little messed up because now they done walked around with it they're like yeah we won bronze and like you you have it the whole entire time mm -hmm. and now you want to strip it away from somebody later after you know she's already thought that she won it you yeah. know like in that moment let's get it right like That's the messed up take part your about time it. get it right so yeah. nobody thinks that they won it and now you're all disappointed at the end when when you get stripped of it so that's the way i feel about it um, yeah. they need to do better. They need to have better judges or something, um, than the people that were out there awarding these things. And see, so, that's like what I'm saying. I don't even know how they go about judging. Uh, well, obviously those. they made a mistake and to me, that's a big mistake mm -hmm. and it could have been even a worse mistake if that was a gold, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Like, imagine if that was a gold medal and you get oh, stripped man. of that. I mean, she, I think I think they had been in there fighting. <laughs> yeah, remember she was on the podium, like she was on the podium, mm -hmm. and like she has pictures of herself winning it, and now we want to strip it all of a sudden. Um, I don't know if they would have stripped her. No, I'm not gonna say that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, don't say that. Don't say that. All right. Uh, what is it? This says real quick. Man of his word, Flavor Flav creates a custom. Bronze clock for Jordan Shaw's after she was stripped of her Olympic bronze medal. Wow, Flavor Flav. Uh, USA gonna fight. This is what he tweeted. Flavor Flav tweeted, USA gonna fight the powers that be. In the meantime, but in the meantime, between time, I'm always a man of my word. At Charles Jordan and then uh, Gina Charles, I guess that's her 
mother says thank you means the world she's not on social right now as you can imagine i'll share with her i think she took the step off social media for her own mental uh for her own mental peace you know mm-hmm. so yeah then that's 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 in the media the shoot man this look almost better than the metal <laughs> <laughs> I just think it's all kind of messed up to to strip her of that. So yeah. um, hopefully she's not feeling too bad about that. But you know, that's but, yeah. to me that whole situation is messed up. But yeah, yeah. Did you did you watch any of the uh, the ending ceremony? A, a little bit, but, but before we get into that, okay, I want to on, I'm still on Olympic. Okay. Did you see the break dancing? <laughs> that's that's <laughs> <laughs> oh my. my I didn't watch any of that. Everybody clowning this one and bro, if you see it, bro, I, th- I think you can do a better job. Are you talking about the this break dancing lady, at the Olympics? No, I've seen yeah, I I've seen the one with females. I haven't seen guys. They really mm-hmm. didn't show it. I think you'd have to uh subscribe to Peacock to see everything. Right. But you can see it on social media. I'm sure some of you guys have seen it. But this one lady, I think she was from Australia and she <laughs> was brick. I was like, what the hell is she doing? It looked like she was sliding on the side of her face. <laughs> running. I was like, oh, my, how has she made it? And then, I don't know. At least I haven't seen. I would think that you would actually seen. I'm sure they had Americans. Mm-hmm. But when you think of breakdancing, you would think they had, you know, some 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 kids. Or some, even some, not necessarily have to be <laughs> kids, but some people from the Bronx. Yeah. In New York, where a lot of this stuff originated, maybe from the Bronx, right? You know, uh, Manhattan, Harlem, you know, Brooklyn, or something like that, or, or you know, I, I'm sure they had USA, but I, I never have, I, I didn't, I only, they only showed clips that I've seen, so I haven't seen the whole thing, mm-hmm. and uh, some, some of what they were showing, so they had, I think, someone from Taiwan or Japan or something like that. And Japanese heavy in the hip hop culture, but she killed it. Then they had an Indian, uh, I want to say, I think a girl from India. She did good, but then another female came in. But then when I saw these clips of this one girl from Australia, oh my God, y'all! If y'all haven't seen it, you need to see it. I'm telling you, look like she was on her ALO. But <laughs> I was mm. like, what is she doing? That it was, uh, it it was a lot. There's a lot of uh, clips of you can see the videos of people sitting there laughing. <laughs> showing the video her in the, but you know in the 2028 Olympics in LA they're not gonna bring break dancing in. Oh really? Yeah, they're they, taking it out? Yeah, they're taking it out. They're oh okay. Out. Yeah, yeah not I didn't even know dance. that was a thing. Me neither. I was, I was surprised. Like, <laughs> me either. That's the first I heard of it. Like was it all in Japan? Th- all the things you would think is like an Olympic sport. Yeah. <laughs> I would have never thought yeah, that, that some that's of the an stuff, Olympic some, sport. Some of the things I saw, I was like, wow, you yeah. know. Yeah, like table, t- of course, table tennis. I'm mm-hmm. pretty sure eventually they're probably going to put pickleball in the Olympics. Oh yeah, they probably will. You know that's that's growing pretty rapidly. But man, you you got to see that clip, man. I heard they're going to do flag football though. Oh really? Yeah, because they had um, the quarterback from the Eagles. Mm-hmm. Um, he kind of like showed off the Olympics. You know, um, I think they were in um, L.A. and at the uh, Coliseum. Yeah. And he has he like he throws the football. And it like oh, you talking up about uh, Jalen, uh, Jalen, Jalen Hurts. Uh, Hurts? Yeah, I thought and that I saw that. I thought that was just a commercial. So yeah, no, we got next. They're gonna do flag football. Really? That's what. I, I, yeah, I was like, why they got? I thought because you know he threw the ball and it hit the torch right mm-hmm. to light up the Coliseum. I thought that was just a uh, a promo plug for the limp because he's saying we got next right. Mm-hmm. But I guess you're 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 going deeper into it. No, we got next, meaning we're here and we're going to play flag football. Yeah, right? I think that's what they're saying. I could be I mean, wrong, I but I, I, I think I that's what I heard. I thought it was just a plug for so, L.A. Yeah. But, do you uh, think they're going to be L.A. hosts in Olympics? I think it's going to be great. I, I'm going to try to go. L.A. is pretty big, but, man. And the yeah. cool thing with you. L.A. is huge. You don't have to stay in a hotel. You can just No, stay. yeah. I could but the traffic, there. though. Oh yeah, that's what's going to suck. And then when they do the marathon runs, you know, they got to block off streets mm-hmm. for that. I mean, where are they going to swim? You know, you know, when they swim, the, remember they had to clean out the river? And uh, in France, oh. when they do that, I don't know what they call that one. When they swim in the actual river for so many miles. Oh, okay. Where are they gonna do that at in LA? I have no clue, but I they got four years to figure it out. <laughs> that is true. <laughs> they going they gonna build something. The, it, I think it'll be a great great time. You mm-hmm. know, um, Snoop definitely gonna be hosting oh, yeah. this one. Yeah, Snoop he actually got paid 
oh, to of course. like walk around and do all that yeah. stuff. Snoop went to all the games, got hype. Snoop yeah. went to all the games. I man. heard it was like, you know, a half a million dollars a day or something. Well, like well you that. know the Olymp the 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 Olympic medalists, the mm -hmm. ones who won the they get paid. You know that, right? They get yeah. a certain stipend. Yeah. For for gold, bronze, and uh, it's not a so, lot though. It's not a lot, but still, yeah. and I think it's every medal that you get. I forgot what I don't know if it's like fifteen grand for silver, and whatever for bronze. I'm not sure, but you can yeah. look it up. But yeah, I think I for every about. medal you get, you know, that can add up to nice piece. Not to mention your endorsements. Too, yeah, you know. What did you think of the ending ceremony? Did you see Tom Cruise jump out? No, I didn't see. I saw a little bit of it, but I didn't oh, okay. see a lot of the ending ceremony. Yeah, a lot of people were talking about that. Some people oh, yeah. were talking about Tyrese and how he was getting up there, basically cosplaying as uh, Marvin Gaye. Oh, and, I heard about that. Oh, <laughs> yeah, that's I'm like the beard and, with the beard and the and the, and yeah. the, uh, the skull cap. Yeah, yeah. How would you think uh, his performance was? I mean, you know, Tyrese can sing. So I knew it was going to be good. But he wasn't Marvin Gaye, all right? But yeah, he ain't he's Marvin Gaye. He's Gay. Marvin Gaye. I mean, Gay. like, yeah. he can put on all that stuff all he wants to. He yeah. ain't going to be able to sing like Marvin Gaye can. Only, there's only one Marvin. But, you know, yeah. Mm -hmm. But uh, where do you rank this Olympics overall? I don't know, man. I don't, honestly, I don't know. Yeah. Jamaica didn't do too well in track and field either. You know, uh, they didn't do too well as, as you thought. Like like in previous Olympics, they didn't do as as well in track and field, yeah, mm -hmm. and, that, and that's the biggest rival, yeah, for America is uh, Jamaica, especially when it comes to track and field. Mm -hmm. Um, but I don't know. I I think it was good. It was interesting. Yeah, all the games they had. What what do you rank it? I mean, it's up there, but I don't think it's like one of the best. Right, and right. So like, I yeah. feel like you know, two thousand and eight was great, mm -hmm. and. Um, even I remember 2016 being pretty good too. Um, even 2012, but you know, I think it, it definitely is up there, but, um, I'll give it top five, you top know, five. We, but I also haven't been alive for many of these things since it's uh, every four years, you know, <laughs> you, you, uh, you, but, are you uh, going to watch the winter Olympics? Nah, I don't know. You know, I mean, I barely watch these, You're, so watch the <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna be honest with you. Um, gotcha. I really just like the racing, and I like the swimming, and I honestly I didn't watch that much of the basketball, but I you know I watched did. the highlights. I some of the boxing. Oh, okay. And the wrestling, a little bit of the I guess it was judo or karate, whatever. Then a little bit yeah. of the weightlifting with the yeah. women. Um, dude, they had rock climbing. Mm. They had rock climbing. I was like, "What?" Yeah, they've got all kinds they of stuff added now. Rock climbing. Those dudes was shooting up there. I was like, "Oh my yeah. god!" But we yeah. dominated as we always do. We always America. do, man. America. Um, this is the only time I can be patriotic and nobody made, say anything. Uh, you do, do, so do I should have came in with an American. Do flag you think on. they made America great again? <laughs> <laughs> they continued the greatness of America. Oh, okay, I'll put it like go. that. I won't gotcha. say. Uh, gotcha. I won't say MAGA. <laughs> gotcha, gotcha. Do you think Tyreek Hill can beat? Oh, uh, 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 Noah Lyles. Noah Lyles. Tyreek Hill is fast. I'd mm -hmm. love to see it. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I don't know, but I, I'm definitely here for it. You know, because I, I guess he Noah Lyles said some things about the NFL. He's saying why these people can send themselves world champions. Yeah, are we the world champions? You heard what he said about Adidas, right? Mm -hmm. Well, and people took it as a dig. To Anthony Edwards, mm -hmm. I don't know. I don't necessarily know if it was a dig towards Anthony Edwards because he said, "Why would I go to a event for Anthony Edwards when I'm an athlete and Adidas haven't gave me my own shoe?" Mm -hmm. Is it more so a dig at Adidas, more so than Anthony Edwards? Right. I mean, I think it's a dig at Anthony Edwards. I think this uh, this guy one, he's kind of a troll. And uh, he's just a hater, man. I've never seen anybody hate he so caught bad on COVID. People. So, oh yeah, that's another thing. This you think he was lying? He wants to act like he got COVID. What would he have done if he had won? He wouldn't be saying nothing. But oh, no, tr no. I got COVID. No, trust me. And uh, that's why I lost. No, 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 no. So, trust me. Know. If he had won, even with COVID, he's like, yeah, you know, I still came out and performed even though I got COVID. Trust me. He would have milked that. He I just feel it. like he was making that an excuse of why he lost after I he think, was talking all bro, that trash. I don't, I don't know. I don't, I'm not in the man's head. Regardless, win or lose, you was going to know he had COVID. If he lost, yeah, I got COVID. If I won, I beat them, and I still got COVID. So what's that got to say about me then? Either way, you're going to know he had COVID. I don't like that guy. You He's on like some him? Kendrick energy. I'm just kidding. Yeah. 
He got some Kendrick. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, don't come at me. <laughs> Yo, hey, K Dot fans, get him. <laughs> get him. Get him. Get him. Um, all right. Let's yeah. Let's move on. To, uh, <laughs> All right, so Kamala Harris, since the last mm-hmm. time we talked, she picked Tim Walsh. Um, Wise? What is it? Walsh? It's Walsh, Walsh? Uh, governor of Minnesota. First off, what do you think of her pick? What do you think of um, some of his sound bites? And do you think that he's better than J.D. Vance? Uh, yeah. Hell, I think you better than J.D. Vance. <laughs> I mean, come on, man. Kamala, I mean, hit me up. You should have picked me. I would have been the perfect guy to come out and represent you. You know, I mean, I, I'm 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 here to see them 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 debate. Okay, I'm definitely here for that. Mm-hmm. Um, on, what do I think of what's his name, Waltz? Mm-hmm. I really don't have an opinion either way. You know, um, okay. I, I know she. I know she. They had to use a strategy. I know some people were saying uh, Governor Shapiro and then mm-hmm. somebody else too. And I guess maybe I think she feel that his policies align somewhat with hers mm-hmm. and he'll have her not saying the rest won't have her back to be honest with you the way it's looking mm-hmm. no matter who she picks she could have the way it's looking not not saying by a landslide the way it's going the way it's looking because we don't all we no one can out you know predict the outcome of an election mm-hmm. but no matter who she picked she probably would still beat trump the way it's looking right now you know um but because whoever she pick as a VP, I think they're going to wash JD Vance. Mm-hmm. You know, I think I think he's just going to get washed because um, he already got a little flack in the media already. And then all you got to do is go back to, even though he compared Trump to Hitler, so yeah. you an idiot if you, you know, now he backpedaling all that stuff. So, you know, but yeah, I don't, I don't have a, I don't have a. Uh, my thing is, I just want to see if they're going to do what they say they're going to do. How much pushback they're gonna get from the House, honestly, the Senate? Yeah, I mean, we won't know until right. You know, they get elected or something happens mm-hmm. if they're about the business. But um, yeah. What do I think about Tim Walls? Tim Walls to me has shown that he's a fighter. I mean, okay. just listening to him, um, some of the sound bites, like he he can debate these people. Oh yeah, you know, he yeah, can yeah. go at them, and yeah. so. I think um, strategically, I think that was a great pick by her. You think so? Because, you know, at the beginning, I was like, who's this guy? Like, oh, did what, you know who Why does she? No, I didn't know anything about him. I was like, why is she picking this dude? Yeah. Like, he seems like a lame, you know? But, um, but after hearing him speak, he's come out and just, to me, he's like the best pick. And the, probably, like, he's like a hitting gym to me. Mm-hmm. Um, when you hear him speak and he gets up there. And he's just the person that she needed, um, you know, one in terms of race, but also <laughs> in terms uh, of, you yeah. know, uh, being able to go at these people and really debate them and, yeah. and, you know, hit them with their own game because, you know, he's he's scrappy. And so now his record is mm-hmm. what a lot of people are going to go at him for. What's what I his do, record? So um, he kind of during the you know riots and stuff like that oh just yeah. kind of let people do whatever they wanted and so he, they but kind of like burned down but i heard that uh trump praised them for calling the national guard on th- the protesters yeah that's true yeah um and so like but a lot of people are coming at him because of his record in minnesota some of the things that he's done um like they were calling him tampon tim because he put um, tampons, which I don't even know if I can say, oh, that, yeah, yeah, in can. the men's in the men's bathroom, <laughs> yeah. or yeah, in the men's bathroom for the gender, yes, or whatever for the gender fluid people, and so a lot of people are coming at him with that, and so uh, I heard about that. There's been a lot of different right. things that are coming out about him. One, a lot of people are attacking him on stolen valor because mm-hmm. he kind of said that he carried guns into war. Oh when he didn't really do that. And so I heard about that that JD Vance was saying. But yeah. then they also say that's sort of a reach cuz he never really said he carried weapons while he was in the military per se. Right, but there's yeah. a video of him kind of alluding to it. And okay. so and I've heard the video and it sounds like he does say he carried it. 
But, you know, listen, I think was that... Was he active duty or was he like National Guard or something? So he was active duty at the time. Okay. And what happened was he quit right before he had to actually do anything. Mm. Does that make any sense? Like right before he was going to get into actually possibly going into like, you know, yeah. war or whatever, carrying a gun, you know, he like quit right before that. And so... I don't um, think none but of a lot of people are saying him. A lot of people were saying that he didn't really quit. He what he did was he stepped down so that somebody else could come in yeah. and do their thing. So yeah, I, I don't. That, I I think you know on both sides they're going to reach. Yeah, because you think about it, you got to find some way to discredit them. You're mm -hmm. going to twist some things, but I tell you what, I think uh, he's definitely uh, uh, um, he is definitely a a man of words like Trump, I should say. I'm going to mm. read you one of his quotes. Okay. He said, make that bastard wake up afterwards and know that a black woman kick his ass and send <laughs> him on the road. Yeah. He's definitely, he has that uh that, that Trump-esque. That's what I mean by like he's a fighter. I mean, he, he's, yeah, a, yeah, he's yeah. a little scrappy. He's not afraid to get his hands and dirty. see, that's what you need. Yeah. That's what you need. So good. Trump doesn't move political, so you need someone like that. Yeah, I mean, good on her part to to find this guy. Like I said, I think he's kind of a hidden gem. Also, you got to realize that because of his progressive policies, mm -hmm. a lot of the progressives who were like kind of turned away from Biden, mm -hmm. I feel like now will kind of hop on this train. So. Yeah, because, you know, a lot of the progressives, I feel like um, a lot of them are kind of independent. Yeah. And so like those independent voters, you know, now they have something to vote for. So yeah. I think it could yeah. get interesting. Um, I mean, I think no matter who they were going to pick, they were all going to go after the record. Right. Mm -hmm. I mean, mm -hmm. I thought she should have picked Gavin Newsom. Yeah, that's the other one. Gavin but Newsom. his records, you know, terrible in his state. So, you mm -hmm. know, um, so she ended up picking this guy, though. Oh, that's what after COVID, right? With mm -hmm. Gavin Newsom. Yeah. 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 So interesting knows, pick. Man? I, I know it was He's definitely it. better than J.D. Vance. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. I think any uh, Newsom, Shapiro, Waltz, mm -hmm. I think all of them better than J.D. Vance. Yeah, I think that's. And J.D. Vance is not, no, no, you know, no, no diss to him, mm -hmm. but he's, I'm sure he probably know more than me in politics. Or I, I don't necessarily know if he know more than the average. But you got some people who are in politics, but knows politics, you know, like the palm of their hand, you know. Mm -hmm. But uh, they were saying that uh, he's only been in there roughly a little over a year or so oh, in okay. politics. So they're saying he's fairly new to the game. But I, I still wonder why he chose him. You think to get younger? I don't know, man. I, I think I, 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 I'm I think that he thought that Biden was going to be the person. Oh, yeah, yeah. They thought and Biden was so the person, yeah. He chose him based off of that, that mm -hmm. Biden was going to be, he was going to be running against Biden. And then, you know, we've done, uh, the Democrats have done kind of a switcheroo lately. Yeah. So, um, had, so yeah, yeah. change things. Because I guess Trump, they thought they had it in the bag, especially after that debate. Yeah. I'm pretty sure. And they to be they honest, the they really did. But they these sound bites, them coming out and saying some of the things that they've said lately has really hurt them. And who? Hurt who? Who said I'm what? talking about Trump and J.D. Vance. I mean, these, uh, the cat lady comment oh, yeah, the, yeah, Vance. you know some of the stuff that trump has said recently mm -hmm. i mean even like you know joe rogan was kind of like saying like he's kind of leaning more rfk jr than he is anybody oh, and yeah. a lot of people thought that joe rogan had endorsed trump for a second there i mean oh. who had, uh, had endorsed rfk rather mm -hmm. um for a second there because of his comment um but he came out and said that he didn't endorse anybody but and like Trump was about to go after him. So, oh. but anyways, yeah. all that kind of stuff was happening. So, yeah. No one knew where this, where he came from. Like I heard, I even heard Pete Buttigieg, uh, Shapiro, Gavin Newsom. I, you know, uh, they, they didn't know where, uh, um, you know, uh, what's the name? Weiss? Mm-hmm. What's his first name? Walsh. 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 Tim Walsh. Tim Walsh. Yeah. Yeah, no one knew. He can. He used to be a coach. Yeah, he used to be a um, football coach. Football coach, yeah. Um, in high school. Yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, he's he's a, he seems like your average, everyday, you know, 
type mm-hmm. of guy, which, you know, I think that that's going to play well with independent voters. Mm-hmm. And so um, we'll see what happens. With I that. tell you what, I know um, uh, they, 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 they damn sure lit a new fire up under the Democratic Party. I'll tell you that. And 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 it couldn't be a moment too soon because they they was Democratic Party, uh, you know they they uh what they had a lackluster, you know no one was uh, enthused about the Democratic Party at all, not at all. Yeah. About the Democratic Party, so so yeah yeah you know I guess it's a we'll see man we'll see how things pan out for sure. Um. Adele and Rich Paul have Mm. confirmed their engagement. Um, The singer has previously referred to her longtime beau as her husband. Mm -hmm. Adele has officially confirmed that she and Rich Paul are taking their relationship to the next level. Maybe they're married. She said her husband. This is on on E.T. Yeah, this is an E.T. story. Are they already married? I mean, I don't know. She refers to him as her husband. So, yeah. what do you think about that? Hey, if they like it, I love it. How you <laughs> you, you, you find it, you think Adele is attractive? Yeah, I think Adele's attractive. I mean, she's Adele. She's a superstar. She, that don't that don't mean you are just because you're a superstar. She's doesn't good, mean you're yeah. attractive. I think she's good looking. You think she is? Yeah. But I I I think she's nice looking too. But you got to realize when we see her, we see her all made up. Mm-hmm. <laughs> how you think she look no 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 no. what i'm saying is when you're dealing with women right. who's who are in the rather they are in 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 entertainment mm-hmm. nine out of ten when you see them you gonna see them with their makeup you know they got their makeup artists in their hair mm-hmm. how do they look without that that's what i'm asking you have you seen her without any makeup? i haven't seen her without any makeup but i'm gonna look it up online right now look it up online see tell, me what, you, tell me what you think but to me she looks good yeah i think she looks good too. Wait, this is her actually. with no makeup let me see. You know, she I'm, looks you know, good. I'm blind, boy. I mean, listen. Yeah, she look all right. We're going to get in trouble here on the Black Summit. I'm trying to, uh, no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I think she a nice, you know. No, but I mean, Rich hey, Paul. She, is she thick? Which she is, goes with them big dress. She got, she thick? Yeah. She got a booty? She used to be, you remember, she used to be a little bigger. Yeah. yeah she yeah, like yeah. slimmed up, you know. But she got a little booty? I'm sure she does. I'm I haven't seen the recent pictures I'm of sure her. sure Rich Paul's a booty man. <laughs> <laughs> but you know um it's interesting because i i heard a lot of people were like talking about it mainly you know for years dr umar has been like getting at black men oh <laughs> he believed in the black uh black family you know um, yeah they say uh, you know a, 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 a lot of people believe that you know yeah a lot of people believe that you're trying to they want to encourage people to build uh, more black families which i'm for that and uh mm-hmm. you know but i think that uh you know um there's nothing wrong with rich paul and her being together rich paul of course is lebron's agent and probably the biggest agent in the nba um and uh you know mm-hmm. i think uh i'm happy for them i'm happy i mean to be honest i was surprised that they were even together <laughs> i would have yeah, never I guessed never, I would never that put adele them. Would be with Rich she's, Paul. Well, she's from Liverpool or London or yeah, she's, wherever she's yeah. from. She's from and the he's UK. From, he's from Cleveland. Yeah. I mean, the, you know. talk about like, you know, never yeah. really thinking that somebody would, you know, those two would be getting together. Yeah. Unlikely couple. So yeah. I think it's interesting. But, but, when, uh, but when he's in a, he's in a certain circle and then she's in a certain circle, but then being that who they are. And in, in the industry, that's how they able to cross paths. But even just looking at him and looking at her, you would never be like, oh, you know, I'm, I think them two will make, you know, yeah. like they'll make a good couple. I guess no one would ever guess that. But uh, Could you get with a woman who is from the UK? The UK? Depends. Oh, okay. Depends why. I don't think nothing wrong with it. Yeah, I mean, I don't think anything's wrong with it. What? I mean, uh, it's just, you know, diff- different, different culture? cultures. Yeah. She, I mean, she's probably going to say I don't I don't speak correctly. <laughs> My English is broken. That's probably what she's going to say. Yes, Could, darling. Yeah. Me, love, love. <laughs> Tell me, oh, a spot of tea. <laughs> <laughs> Tell 
to how are you bloody oh I'm bloody mud. <laughs> I'm a smashing good day. Could you date someone from uh from UK? Yeah. Oh, you have maybe you have have you? No, I haven't. No, you no, haven't? no. You're more of a worldly man than me, right? But I was in military, but but, but yeah, I mean, like, I mean, I could I could date anybody, you know. I yeah. I really don't um, discriminate. You I'm not discriminate. I'm not on the uh, Doctor Umar thing, you know. I think it's just interesting oh. what he says. I think that you know some of those comments are mm-hmm. um, rooted in an actual good place. Really, in 2024, you know, it's mm-hmm. unrealistic to try to only date you know black women you know what i mean i don't know maybe you disagree with me on that what do you think think... about people who um who said no that's it i'm only gonna date within my race yeah that's their preference you have some white people like that too they only want to date white yeah you know that's their Uh, preference yeah yeah. i think i think um we've become more worldly as we've evolved and so I think that a lot of different people are going to have a lot of different preferences. Do you and think they to, should open their minds and date outside their race? No, I'm not saying that. I'm saying that, like, if that's your preference, like, if mm-hmm. you're attracted to whoever you're attracted to, mm-hmm. and if you got you and that person vibe, you can't say, oh, oh, she's white, I can't get with her. Or, some oh, people, some people say that. Oh, or she's this, I can't get with her. Some but what, you know, like, what if you, you know, that person is the right person for you, right? And you love them, yeah. you know. Now you're gonna stop your love for them. If a person says that, even as their preference, all mm-hmm. they racist because they think that. Do I think that do, if and, you uh, have a preference to only date people within yeah. your race, or, or like you said, oh, I can't. Oh, it is so good, man. But man, I would be with you, but you know, to say if it was a white woman, but you're black, <laughs> only date, only date. Does that consider racist? To me, that would be racist. Yeah, really? Yeah, you think so? I think so, but not racist. That would be prejudice. Let me say that because yeah. racism is different. Yeah, from, yeah, yeah. Um, prejudice. So right, I think, right. I think that that would be prejudice. Yeah. I don't necessarily think that's. Some people probably gonna think it's. Ra- I don't necessarily think that's racist. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? I like. It's like put it like this. Like they can work. Y'all can work together. Laugh. You can even. You know, share and embrace, not sexual, like, oh, good job, give each other a hug and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. But, you know, she just prefer to date white guys. She believe in the white family. Uh, I don't know, I, you know, none of she just like don't want nothing to do with you because you're black, then that's different. But yeah, she just prefer to date. I don't necessarily know if that is racist. I'm sure some people are going to say it is. But like you said, everybody got preferences. Some people only want to date, uh, some of them only want to date fat guys, mm-hmm. you know, and some, a lot of them only want tall men, you know, so. Yeah. I mean, I think that, um, I think that if you fall in love with somebody, one, the chances of that even happening is one in a million. Mm-hmm. And then the fact that you're willing to forego that for you know, to stand on somebody's race and say, oh, well, they're not this or they're not that. Yeah. I mean, to me, that's a little shallow. You know. And and if it, if race is involved, it's a little prejudiced. To, so, be, to be honest with you, you know, I, I kind of agree with what you said. I think, like, if you take, say, two foreign people, I'm not going to say what race they are, whatever, just foreign. Because normally people say there's only one race, it's the human race, right? But uh, ethnicity, right? Two people with two different ethnicity. I think you had a point. Once you, if, if you fall in love, <laughs> you know, I think that ethnicity ain't going to matter. Yeah. I'm just saying it. It's going to be hard to, you know, and, and granted, they might be like, man, but you know, you know, he or she is this ethnicity. But then I think sometimes maybe that love might compel them so much that where they, even if they try and try to get away, they just probably got to just play this thing out and see how it goes. Either you're going to end up together or eventually after a while you grow apart or the relationship fizzled out. You know, Sometimes people feel they just got to just, let's just let me, I'm going to just follow my heart and just see where this leads, see where it takes me. Yeah. And again, don't get me wrong. I understand where people like Umar are coming from. Like being loyal to to your people and to like 
the black community. I think all of that is important. Mm. But at the same time, if you fall in love with somebody, I feel like you have to like be with that person because life is too short. That's if that person want to be with you. The, yeah, of course. Yeah. But life is too short to go, oh, I'm going to be, you know, racist right now. I just don't have time <laughs> to be racist. You don't have time to be prejudiced. <laughs> life is too okay. Short. It is. Racist right life, now. life is too short. Like, who has time to be racist? You know what I mean? Like, I, I'm just being honest. I don't discriminate so against that's, people because of their race. Get, they get, discriminate against me because of my race. So okay. I don't do it. Well, I mean, you know, a lot of people feel like, you know, black people can't be racist. Of course. We and can. yes, because, you know, racism. Prejudice, is, yeah. But racist, yeah, you can be prejudiced. You can be prejudiced. You can be but, a bigot. <laughs> yeah. I mean, we don't really have the infrastructure to no, be racist. We do not. And so. And every time we reverse racism, man. Yeah. We not denying people from no home loans or yeah. jobs or, or bringing down a whole community of people mm -hmm. just because of the you know, the, the color of their skin. Nah. Yeah. So, I mean, I kind of take stuff that Dr. Umar says with a grain of salt, I, even though I think s some people, you know, again, I always go back to these are two great people at the top of their game in their respective sport. Mm -hmm. Um, you know, and it's a good, it's a great union Respective sport. Yeah. You know, I'm oh. just saying that just oh, as and a, in their career fields and their career fields. Yeah, gotcha, okay. Gotcha. And I mean, she's at the top of her game. She's like one of the greatest when it oh, comes yeah, to, yeah, yeah. you know, Adele's a huge I, star. I th you know what? I think she is going to be the, even, I think she's going to be like, well, she is Adele, not saying she is her, but in that same vein, mm -hmm. like the Celine Dion. Mm -hmm. I think so, man. Yeah. This is Celine Dion is like, yeah. A lot of people love Celine Dion. When you think when you think of great like singers, she's up there. Oh, yeah, she's yeah. at she least top blow. five. She can blow. She I don't know what I, Maybe I, top I haven't 10. ranked her, but but she definitely can blow. Yeah. She can definitely blow. I mean, blow. I feel like a lot of people are gonna be like, oh, Beyonce. Some yeah, people oh, might sure, say sure. like uh, Adele. Some people Whitney might Houston. go Whitney Houston. People might go Aretha. You yeah, know, yeah, like yeah. So I I won't rank her. So any, I think anywhere, she's but I think she's up there, she can, like she top five, top ten. She can definitely blow, I'll give so, her. So and then, you know, Rich Paul, I mean, he's probably the most legendary, you know, sports agent. I mean, the fact that I can even that I even know who that is, to me, I mean, because most know. sports agents, you don't go around saying, Oh yeah, I know this sports agent and that sports agent. Like when you think of sports agents, who do you think of? Right now well, think about it. Yeah. Back when and back in the day with Magic Jordan, mm -hmm. you know all your your guys, uh, uh, Worthy, James Worthy, Michael Cooper, Kareem, mm -hmm. they all had agents. Yeah, of course there wasn't social media. We didn't really know who those agents were per se. Mm -hmm. You know, maybe some people may know, but they weren't out there, and you know they had agents. Even even after their era, they, everybody had agents with social media. Chris. Uh, what's his name? I better call him Chris Paul. What's his name? Rich Paul. Rich Paul. <laughs> Rich Paul is happened to be because he's the agent for LeBron. And then I think he, I don't know if he, uh, from his street skills, mm -hmm. I guess, if you will, I, I don't necessarily know if he went to school for that or if he, you know, did. did, did, did. I mean, I think eventually, school. eventually he went to school, but okay, I think so. at the beginning, I mean, they just met each other in the right, airport. Right, right, right. It's a great story. Exactly, yeah. And he that's asked one them, the, hey, man, let me rep you, you know? Yeah, so, that's one of the best stories yeah. in history. So so he, he, you know, he learned off the uh, uh, from the ground. You yeah, know now he represents like all the big stars. I mean, saying? Anthony Davis and all right, these other people right, who right. are coming up. Exactly. So yeah. I think it's a great story. And, and a lot of things, just because you go to school for it, you might, ne you might not necessarily learn that in the field. It might be something totally different. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, so yeah. If, if, you know, if, if, they, if they like it, I love it, you know? Yeah. It's, it's, it's all good to me, you know? It's all, it's all good to me. All right. Moving on to yeah, our last on. story. Our here. last one here, man. So, uh, yeah. If you guys haven't heard, well, we, we told you guys about the chicken lady earlier. This, this is hilarious. And then, uh, yeah, so uh, let, me, let me read this. So an ex-school worker gets nine years for stealing, I quote, stealing 
1.5 million worth of chicken wings from school district. So let me read some of this here real quick. A former food service district from Dalton, Illinois, has been sentenced to nine years in prison after admitting to stealing over 1.5 million worth of food, mainly chicken wings, from a south suburban school district. Uh, Vera Liddell, 68, worked for Harvey School District 152 when the thefts occurred between July 20th and February 20th, Liddell placed unauthorized orders through the district's main supplier, Gordon Food Services, including 11,000 cases of chicken wings. These orders were separate from the district's legitimate food purchases. During this time, students were learning remotely due to COVID-19, but the district still provided meals for families to pick up. Liddell used the opportunity to place the fraudulent orders she would then reportedly use a school district van to pick up the food, which never reached the students. The theft was discovered in January 2000, uh, January 2020, January 22, when a routine adult found that the food service department had overspent its budget by more than three hundred thousand. Uh, a cl uh, closer look at the invoices revealed that Liddell had signed off on numerous large orders of chicken wings which were not part of the students meal employees at Gordon Food uh to read the risk log or whatever. So yeah, and I, I read that from Ball Alert. So what do you think she was doing all that chicken? I don't know, man. <laughs> I mean, how do you steal that much money worth of chicken? 1.5 I mean, million. Maybe she was feeding herself. I don't know. Dude, that's that's a lot of chicken. You don't need That to, is a lot of chicken. She could eat free. That is a lot. I mean, do you think she was like was she like feeding the community? Cause you know, uh, or, or was she, or was she like selling it to like other restaurants? Or something? I don't, I don't know what she was doing. Making money. She, obviously, I, I there was something like, going on there. there had where, to have been something going on. Yeah, right? she was taking that and like doing something. Or was with she it. feeding the homeless? I mean, I don't know. I, I mean, maybe I mean, she was just feeding herself. The but meals. That's that's too much chicken Is for one person. Yes. Okay. Dude, that's how much was it again? It was like, man, she stole $1.5 million worth of chicken wings. Over how many years? From uh, between July to February of 20 to 22, so two years. Okay. I mean, two years? Two you know, years. I mean, that, oh, yeah, that is a lot of chicken. That's a lot of chicken. Yeah. E e even two even years. for yourself, that's a lot. Yeah. So I would really see we we need more context with the story. I I, I wish they would do a follow up. <laughs> no, I really want to know what was she doing with? Oh, uh, was she making money off the chick? You know what was she maybe doing? She, yeah, she had to be like selling it. Maybe. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Got to be. Maybe maybe she was doing chicken dinners out her out her place. You think? <laughs> maybe. Maybe she might have been. But then but think about it. Then you got to get bigger freezers. Because she even had the school van picking up the orders, but it wasn't making it to the school. Okay. My thing is with greed, come on, man. You got to be smart. You know, you can't keep. And then you now, now you have a trail. You, they went back to the vouchers. You got a paper trail. You really think you was going to get away with that? You really think you was going to get away with it? But do you think nine years was such a harsh sentence? Should they give her nine years? I mean, when you steal from those people, yeah. I mean, I Should can understand it. Yeah. Nine years, though? That is harsh. That, that is, harsh. that is harsh. But, you know, I mean, stealing is... No, I'm not saying she should have got a slap on the wrist. Okay. But nine years. Maybe three years. And who knows? She might get it reduced. Yeah, maybe four years and then two with good behavior. Exactly. I mean, you know, give her four years and then let her work in the cafeteria. At the gym. <laughs> you know, let that be her duty. You know what I'm saying? That's her like her probation. Yeah, let her let her work in the let her work in the kitchen at the jail. Yeah. Uh give her four years, maybe get out two two, you know, two years with good behavior. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I really want to know what was, what was she doing with all that chicken? Uh, pff, Two years. I mean, that's a lot of chicken. That's a lot of chicken. Yeah. That is a lot of chicken. Got to be smart about it. Yeah, well, there's no <laughs> smart way to be a criminal, but you got to, as they used to say, uh, tickle the ivories a little bit. You got to be, you know, strategic about this thing. Yeah. Come on now. I've never stole anything. Yeah, right. Please. And, uh, you know. What you talking about? You're like a bone thief. <laughs> what? <laughs> I see, I tell you what though I would have I would have stolen some chicken you know yeah you would have you'd have all that chicken 
that, you know, I love me some wings now. That's why I was like, okay, how many years? You know, because yeah, I was calculating in my head. I was like, all right, so how many, you know, chicken wings would I down right now? You, you, you know, you'd had all the wings in your house. Oh yeah, I could they down. Spalling going I could down bad. a twelve piece now. You couldn't fit. You ain't had no. If I was hungry, I could down a twelve piece. You ain't had freezer big enough for it. Mind you, she load this thing load up in a van. No, nah, she wasn't loading. She wasn't loading all of it up each time, right? Dude, yes. Yeah, let me see. Hold up. So each back. time she would Look, take. It said that she how many would. Um, Ladell used the opportunity to place the fraudulent orders. She would then reportedly use a school district van. So she using that's government property to pick up the food, which never reached the students. So it never reached the students. So probably some of them that's parents bad. are like, "Why are you hungry? Yeah. You ain't eat? No, man, all of it, we ain't get no chicken." You know? Yeah, that's bad. So they probably then you know then reported you know. So she using the van. So where in the world was she going with all this damn? I'm chicken? sure she had a way to like you know make money off of it. That's why she was she doing. had to yeah. She had to. That's it's crazy, though. Charge her a fine. <laughs> charge her a fine. Make her pay that money. Yeah. Because the chicken gone. Yeah. Chicken gone. I, I'm telling you, man, either she was selling chicken dinners, mm -hmm. she's selling chicken dinners, or she was either, uh, either you know, she, she either selling chicken dinners or she's selling the raw chicken to the people in the community or either giving them away or she is selling it to Look, restaurants, mom and pop's restaurants. Yeah, it has to be. There's no. That's the only three conclusions I can come up with. It's the only thing it could be. You know, or she was giving it well, or she maybe she was going to soup kitchens and giving <laughs> it to the homeless, cooking chicken. You know, giving giving away to the homeless. Yeah, that's the only thing I can think of, man. Yeah, the whole thing. Crazy just, story, man. Crazy what people are doing out here these days for money. You know, you'd be surprised what people do for money. Yeah, you'd be surprised. They steal chicken. Yeah. From the school district. Mm -hmm. That's wild. Well, the summertime is wrapping up. Yeah. What you been up to the last few weeks? Trying to avoid this heat. We've been oh, getting okay. all this rain, man. You know, I know, yeah, you know my birthday right. passed and it rained, so I didn't do get a chance to do anything. But You still I'm haven't thankful. done anything for your birthday? No. Oh, okay. I'm, just, I'm thankful for the most high. So another year. Uh, who knows? Maybe sometime... Maybe September or to maybe I'll do something. Yeah. I may go out of town. Or Did something. you go yeah. see Twisters yet? No, that movie? Yeah. Uh, no, you saw it. It's uh, pretty okay. good. Twisters was great, man. Really? Oh, yeah. I really enjoyed Twisters. Hmm. I think there's a lot of people out there talking smack. Yeah. To me, Twisters is it's an old school blockbuster. About a okay. deadly tornado, right? Yeah, it's about the tornadoes. Oh, they, 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 they storm chasers? Yeah, the storm okay, chasers. Okay, okay. And um, so... You know, it's to me, it was an old school type classic, you know, blockbuster. Mm -hmm. It had a little bit of heart, oh, but yeah. also, you know, like it's a blockbuster and it's exciting to see these tornadoes and different things and the people trying to chase it and all that stuff. And so um, Glenn Powell, you mm -hmm. know, who has become he's just kind of taken over Hollywood, really. You yeah. know, he's kind of a superstar now. And I forget what the actress's name is, but she she was really good in it, too. And, um, you know, um, I think the director who he directed a movie a few years ago that was critically acclaimed. And so, you know, I think they did a really good job with it. Don't listen to the haters. That movie mm -hmm. is actually pretty good. I haven't heard anything about the movie, actually, really. I yeah, anything. man. It's kind of, um, you know, if you haven't seen it, I, I recommend it because Don't. it's it's an old school. If you like them old school blockbuster movies, like stuff from the, you know, early 2000s, late 90s, like that kind of thing. To yeah. me, this is like one of those great action movies. Don't get me. I don't think it's like That's one of the. Era. I don't think it's like a, like you know, Oscar worthy movie or like hey. you know all yeah. this other stuff. It's just if you want a good popcorn movie. Go watch that movie uh -huh. because to me it's a little elevated more than your regular popcorn movie. Mm -hmm. Um, so yeah. So it'd definitely be like a like an MTV movie award type deal. Um yeah, I can see you winning like some of MTV. those. Yeah. So so 
wasn't there already a movie before? Yeah, called, called Twister. Twister. Yeah, you weren't into Twister? No, no, no. I I think I've seen that. Yeah, I've Twister that was one. like that was like one of the movies back yeah, in the day. Yeah, and this one is called Twister also. This one's called Twisters with an S. Oh, Twist yeah. Twister and Twisters. Yeah. Ah, gotcha. So gotcha. yeah, it's yeah, interesting. One of, they, what about the Deadpool and Wolverine movie? Did you? I see still that haven't one? seen that one. I still haven't seen. I heard that, that was pretty good. Yeah. Um, that one is like blowing up at the box office. It just mm -hmm. reached a billion dollars. Oh wow! Remember we were talking about how Hollywood was struggling a few months ago. Yeah, like you know those movies. You know that movie's a blockbuster. It surpassed Bad Boys. Um, I don't think it's. Did it Bad might Boys have. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. It definitely did surpass Bad Boys. That's now that I'm thinking about it because I don't think they made it yeah. to. That's Marvel. Yeah, but Marvel's also they've had a couple of duds lately. You know. I, movies definitely that haven't that, really made it over a billion. What so. Thor award? What was it? Thor, uh, uh, thunder and love, lightning and thunder, whatever, love and thunder, whatever. Yeah, that, honestly, uh, like uh, I haven't that? really I kept know. up with a lot of the Marvel movies because you know, to me, those because you're a DC fan. No, I'm more. I'm like Martin Scorsese when it comes to Marvel. I'm like right. those are theme park movies. By the way, Martin Scorsese was early on that. And a lot of people gave him flack for saying, saying it, it, but he was right. You know, sometimes you just got to stand in being but it's, early. It's, I think it's, there's nothing wrong with, yeah, they are, I, I get it, theme park, but still, you know, the, your biggest, your biggest films are your sci-fis. Yeah. Anything dealing with that type, those and I guess some of your horrors, man, because horror might add some sci-fi. Oh, yeah. I love it too. I love horror films. You do see, I hate horror films. <laughs> yeah, you got to watch the ones I watch, man. Yeah, you, you probably watch the bad ones. I, I suspense thrillers like Saw, things like that. I like and, okay. Uh, Final Destination. Those considered. You like the Final Destination? Those are all right. Okay. Those are pretty good. Yeah, um, they're like interesting movies. I like, wouldn't those say are like they're suspense like suspense thrillers. Those are not yeah. like horror, horror, but yeah. horror films. Are, Stupid man! You didn't like The Conjuring? I don't think I saw it. The Conjuring? Oh man! See, that's what I'm saying. You gotta watch some. Of okay, the, okay. Maybe you gotta maybe, watch maybe. some of the best ones. Maybe. Yeah, you're probably right. You maybe know? I need to see some of those. No, I'm, what I'm, do you, you like? You like like Halloween and stuff like that. Scream. No, those are horror. No, you don't like those. I watched Halloween, but no, I mean, it just don't make no sense to me, man. It's it's oh my god. But when I was younger, I was mm -hmm. definitely into the Jasons, the Friday the Thirteenth. Okay, there you, you know, go. That was the first horror from the like ha had me scared. But I was like, dang, you know, because well, I was a little kid, you know. Yeah. But as I got older, I'm like, man, there's some things Jason would never kill me. There's some things I just not gonna do. Yeah. I'm not gonna go in the woods in the middle of the night and have sex. <laughs> I'm not gonna, you know. Uh, 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 you know, you know what I'm saying? I'm just not there's certain things I'm just not gonna do. You're I'm not, not gonna, gonna go, go skinny deep, uh, yeah, skinny, skinny dip, dip in. Yeah, I'm not gonna do nothing while like the that. moon's out you and know. uh <laughs> how many black people you know are gonna go camping and go in the woods with some beer and get drinks? That's what I'm saying. Jason be like, Man, I can't never kill no black people. I can't kill these black people. I'm serious. That's, that's why I won't do a horror film because it gonna mix Certain things the characters just ain't gonna do. They, the black people are never gonna get killed. If I ever do a, if I ever write and direct a horror film, they're like, damn, what the black people don't do? <laughs> they ain't gonna like do like, for the one of the one of the stupidest thing they do in every horror film. Mm -hmm. You're gonna get away from the from the guy, right? You're gonna shut the door and then and then lean back on the door so he can bust through the door and snatch you by your <laughs> neck or throw an axe through the door. Just, no, you're going to shut the door and then you're going to keep moving. You know what I'm saying? Or, yeah. or when his body on the ground, you ain't going to go by him and tiptoe and see if he's still alive. You know, The black people might move ain't going to do that. That's why they can be like, dang, I kill all the white people. I can't never kill a black person. <laughs> For one, they don't go looking when they hear noise. For two, when they fall, they don't crawl. They get up and run. Three, they run too damn fast. I'm not going to be able to catch them. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. That's what I'm just like, man. That's why. That's why I hate horror films, man. God, yeah, I just hate them. What about like, um, what did, you didn't like Us or uh, Us was yeah, that was different. What was the other? Even one? though that was considered horror, but that to me that wasn't like a horror horror film to me. I haven't. I you know what I I remember it being good, but I can't remember everything from it. It's almost time for me to rewatch that movie. It's been yeah. a few years, um, but yeah. Um, what was, what's the other one? 
uh, the guess us? who's coming to dinner? Uh, um, the one, the one that Jordan Pill did. I can't about, think of it right now. Tell us. No, 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 not us. Oh, it's about Nope. No, not Nope. It's the other one he did. The one before both of those. I thought he only did three, three films. Yeah, he did three. Yeah, it was uh, Get Out. Oh, Get Out, Get Out, Get what? Out, Get Out, Get Out. Yeah, is that's, that a good one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But that's not like a horror film to me. Okay, it's not. A, it's, it's definitely not a horror. See, just like what I'm saying with Jordan Peele, mm -hmm. the black people, yeah, they might get into some stuff, but you ain't really going to kill them. they like, just like the movie Nope. When they saw something crazy, that's what it's called. They, they, they saw the aliens. <laughs> They're like, nope, nope, uh-uh. Yeah. You know where the white foot at? <laughs> Dude, what is that? <laughs> you know, they're like, they saw, they're like, nope, nope, uh-uh. I ain't going for that. Nope, nope. What about one of the greatest horror films, The Shining? I didn't really like The Shining. Damn, this, this man great... really. No, no, no. I like, the way, I like the way it's shot. The you, story. You are op of horror. <laughs> no. no, 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 no. The Shining was great because the way it was executed. Okay. You've there, There's better stories than that. You know what than I'm saying? Than The Shining? Yeah. It's, okay. That's that's the main thing. You know, with the, the follow focus, with, with Stanley Kubrick and stuff like that. That's what's so good about The Shining. The Shining is look at from a filmmaker's standpoint. Mm -hmm. You don't hear the people, the regular consumer, oh my God, The Shining. No, they don't. They say stuff like paranoia and things like what you said. Nah, they don't nah, talk nah. Some people really love The Shining. No, some like, people do. Okay. But most of your, 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 I hear a lot of your filmmakers talk about The Shining because okay. of the way it was executed. Yeah, I, I agree. I don't hear a whole lot of consumers. And it, uh, granted, there are some, but yeah. I hear them like, oh man, you know. Like people who love horror, who even collect the figurines, they got uh, Hellraiser, Michael Myers, Jason. You know, they ain't say, "Oh, I, this is um, Jack Nicholson from The Shining." You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. They ain't, they ain't not talking about The Shining like that, man. You know, top three movies of all time, and then we can wrap this up. Yeah, let's wrap this up. Uh, <laughs> my top three movies that I like overall, all together. Yeah. My first movie that I love, <laughs> you never guess. What my favorite it? movie. What's your favorite movie? Coming to America. <laughs> <laughs> this man loves comedy. Yeah, Coming to America. Oh my god, that is comedic genius. I love that movie. Okay. Um. All right, we'll go with your top two. Uh, so I know your top you got two. your three. I know Woody Harrelson somewhere in there. Woody Harrelson? No. No, I mean Woody, Woody Allen. Allen. My bad. <laughs> Let's say Woody Allen. No, I'm not going to name any Woody Allens because I'll get canceled. Um, but uh. If uh, I mean my top three is kind of obscure, like a lot of the movies that one... nobody will watch. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, number one is probably the Third Man, which is a film noir. Um, mm -hmm. Joseph Cotton, um, and uh, one of the best actors of all time. I can't think of his name right now. I thought you was gonna say Mementos. Um, no, I would say before Memento, I would say Inception. Inception. Oh, you like, you like Inception mm -hmm. with Leonardo DiCaprio? Yeah, Leonardo DiCaprio. You know, I saw course, Inception, but I gotta go Chris Stanley, Nolan. Chris on Nolan. It. I gotta go Chris Nolan on it. Come on now. I mean, to me, he's uh, the greatest uh, director. Yep. Um, I would like Infraction with Anthony Hopkins and uh, Ryan Gosling. Oh yeah, that's a good movie. And 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 Mr. Nobody saw Mr. Brooks with Kevin Costner. Yeah, that is a good movie, man. Yeah, I need to watch that. But yeah, so for me, it's it's you know um, Inception, and then number three, I would go with All About Eve, which is uh, one of the best movies ever made. All about Eve. Not a lot of people have seen it, but um, Elizabeth her. Taylor at the top of her game, a young Melon Monroe. Um, mm. So yeah, I mean those those are my top three: The Third Man, Inception, All About Eve. And to me, you know what's funny is I'll I'll watch movies, and whenever I watch these movies, I'm like, oh, that's my favorite movie. So whenever I watch Deception, I'm like, oh yeah, that's my favorite movie right there. Mm. Or whenever I watch All About Eve, I'm like, oh man, this is like the greatest movie of all time. Or whenever I watch, you know, what about, uh, what the about, Third Man. What about the the, the um, there's something about Mary. <laughs> What is that? You ever saw that? No, what are you talking about? With Ben Stiller is a comedy. Oh, okay. Yeah, See, you, know, you I know you like all like the that. comedies. I watch, I like some drama too. I watch a lot of dramas. Yeah. Stuff. But Coming to America, that's a good choice. Yeah. All right. All right, man. Well, this has been the Black Summit. I'm Hendrix. I'm Brooks. And we are out. Deuces. Peace.